There was a boy named Zek, but he wasn't like any other boy. He was an alien from a far-off planet called Krynox, sent to Earth on a mission to learn about humans. His people had been watching Earth for centuries, but Zek was the first to actually live among them. With his pale blue skin and glowing green eyes, he used a special disguise to blend in, appearing like an ordinary human. In his human form, Zek was tall, had dark hair, and looked like any other 18-year-old boy. He joined a local high school to understand how humans lived, how they thought, and most importantly, how they felt. Everything was going fine until he met Mia. Mia was a quiet, smart, and kind girl who had no idea Zek was anything more than a regular transfer student. She was focused on her studies and didn't care much for relationships, but something about Zek caught her attention. Maybe it was his intense, curious eyes or the way he seemed to know nothing about things like social media or pop culture. Either way, they started talking, and Zek was fascinated by her. She was different from anyone he'd ever met. Zek had been trained not to get too attached to humans. After all, his mission was temporary. But as he spent more time with Mia, he found himself falling for her. She had a way of making him laugh, and her kindness drew him in. She even helped him understand emotions he'd never felt before, like love. One evening after school, they were walking home together. Zek tried to ignore the feelings growing inside him, but Mia noticed something strange. You're acting weird today. Is something wrong, she asked. Zeke hesitated. How could he tell her the truth? that he wasn't even human, that he was supposed to return to his planet soon, and this connection between them wasn't supposed to happen. Suddenly the sky darkened, and a strange noise filled the air. Zek's heart sank. His people were coming for him. He had broken the rules by getting too close to a human. In that moment Mia saw something strange flicker across Zek's face his human disguise was failing. His eyes glowed green for a second before returning to normal. She gasped. What? What are you, she whispered, backing away. Before Zek could explain, a bright beam of light shot down from the sky, and three figures appeared aliens like Zek, but without disguises. Zek, your mission is over. Return with us, one of them commanded. Zek looked at Mia, torn between his duty and his feelings. I, I have to go, he said, his voice breaking. Mia stared at him, confused and hurt. Go where? What's going on? But there was no time to explain. The figures grabbed Zek, and before Mia could say another word, they disappeared into the beam of light, leaving her standing there alone, her heart racing. Zek was gone, but the story was far from over. Days passed, but Mia couldn't stop thinking about Zek. She felt like her world had been flipped upside down. The boy she thought she was falling for wasn't even human. He was something else, something far more mysterious. But despite everything, she missed him. She missed their conversations, their laughter, and how he made her feel special. She kept wondering, would she ever see him again? Meanwhile, back on Krynox, Zek was restless. He couldn't focus on his training or his people's plans anymore. All he could think about was Mia. He had never felt this way before, and it terrified him. His people warned him about the dangers of getting attached to humans, but it was too late. He was in love. One night, while staring out at the stars from his planet, Zeke made a decision. He had to go back to Earth. He couldn't leave things the way they were with Maya, not without explaining everything. So, without telling anyone, Zeke snuck aboard a transport ship and headed back to Earth. The moment Mia saw Zek standing outside her house, she didn't know whether to be angry or relieved. Her heart was pounding. What are you doing here? she asked, her voice shaky. I couldn't stay away, Zek said, stepping closer, his eyes still glowing slightly looked softer than she remembered. I had to see you again. I need to explain Mia crossed her arms, trying to hold back her feelings. Explain what? That you're not human. That everything was a lie, Zik shook his head. It wasn't a lie. Yes, I'm not from this planet, but everything I felt with you was real. I've never felt like this before. I don't care about the rules or my mission or any of that. I just, I care about you. Mia's heart softened. She could see the sincerity in his eyes. He wasn't just saying these things to make her feel better, he truly meant them. But still, the doubt lingered. How can this work, she asked quietly. You're from a different world, Zek. We're different Zek stepped even closer, taking her hands in his. Maybe we're different, but I don't care. I'll figure it out. I just want to be with you, Mia. I'll stay here if I have to. I'll find a way. 
For the first time since Zek had disappeared, Mia felt a flicker of hope. But she couldn't ignore the questions swirling in her mind. What about your people? Won't they come after you, won't they? Suddenly a loud noise interrupted her. The sky above them darkened, and a bright light appeared once again. Zek's heart sank. His people had found him. Out of the light stepped another alien a girl named Lyra, one of Zek's closest allies. But there was something cold in her eyes as she stared at Mia. Zek, what have you done? Lyra asked, her voice sharp. You've broken every rule. You've put everything at risk for a human Mia's grip tightened on Zek's hands. What's going on? She whispered, fear creeping into her voice. Zeke turned to Lyra, standing firm. I'm not going back. I love her. I'll stay here if I have to, Lyra smirked, crossing her arms. You really think you can leave your world for hers? You're a fool, Zek. And she'll never understand what it means to love someone like you. You'll always be hiding. You'll never be free, Zek's heart raced, but he didn't back down. I don't care. I'm choosing her. But Lyra wasn't done. She stepped closer to Mia, looking her up and down. You think you know him, human. You have no idea what he's capable of. What if he turns on you? What if his real nature shows? You're nothing to him, just a passing phase. Mia felt a chill run down her spine. She knew Lyra was trying to scare her, but her words hit hard. Could Zeke really be trusted? Was she risking everything for a love that wasn't meant to last? But then Zeke turned to her, his eyes full of warmth and determination. Don't listen to her, Mia. I know we're different, and I know this isn't easy. But I'm willing to fight for you. For us, Mia looked into Zeke's eyes, seeing the truth there. She took a deep breath and nodded. I'm willing to fight too, just then. The light in the sky started to fade, and Lyra, realizing she couldn't convince Zek to come back, stepped away. You're making a mistake, she hissed, before disappearing into the light. Zek wrapped his arms around Mia, holding her close. I won't let them take me away again. I promise Mia rested her head against his chest, feeling the steady beat of his heart. For the first time in days, she felt like everything might just be okay. But deep down, she knew their journey was far from over. There were still dangers ahead, and not everyone would accept their love so easily. But for now, she didn't care. All that mattered was that Zek had come back. And as they stood there, holding on to each other under the stars, Mia knew she was ready to face whatever came next together. Zek and Mia stood in the middle of her backyard, wrapped in each other's arms, the world around them fading away. The stars above seemed to twinkle brighter, as if they were the only two people in the universe. The warmth of his body and the softness of his touch made Mia feel safer than she had ever felt before. Zek, I don't want you to leave again, Mia whispered, her voice shaking. She had never felt this kind of connection with anyone. It was like her whole heart was tied to his. Zek pulled her even closer, his hands gently cradling her face as he looked into her eyes. I'm not going anywhere, Mia. I'm staying right here with you. I don't care what it takes for a moment. Mia forgot about everything, the danger, the risks, the fact that Zek wasn't human. None of it mattered. All she knew was that she had never felt this kind of love before, a love that seemed impossible but was somehow more real than anything else. Zek's gaze softened as he leaned in, brushing a stray hair away from her face. I've never met anyone like you, he said, his voice filled with emotion. You make me feel things I didn't even know I could feel. I don't care about the rules. I don't care if I have to give up everything back home. You're worth it. Mia's heart swelled with happiness, and before she could say anything, Zeke closed the space between them and kissed her. It wasn't just any kiss. It was slow, tender, and filled with all the feelings they hadn't been able to put into words. Mia's knees felt weak, and her entire body tingled with warmth as his lips met hers. Time seemed to stop as they stood there, locked in that kiss. The stars above them felt closer, brighter, as if the universe was celebrating their love, and for that moment nothing else existed, just the two of them wrapped in each other's arms, lost in the magic of the moment. But just as they were lost in their kiss, a loud, sharp sound broke through the night. The sky above them glowed with an eerie red light. Zek pulled back, his eyes wide with alarm. No, they're here. Mia's heart dropped. Who's here? Zek looked up at the sky, his face pale. My people. They've come for me. They want to take me back before Mia could process what was happening. A massive spaceship hovered above them, 
casting a dark shadow over the yard. A beam of light shot down, and in its glow stood several figures aliens, just like Zek. One of the figures stepped forward, and Mia recognized her immediately. It was Lyra. Zek, she called out, her voice cold and commanding. You have to come back. You know you can't stay here. You know what this means. Zek stepped in front of Mia, shielding her. I'm not going back, Lyra. I told you, I'm staying here. Lyra's eyes flashed with anger. Do you really think this human girl is worth giving up everything? Your family? Your people? You'll never belong here, Zek. Zek's grip on Mia's hand tightened. I don't care. I love her. I'm not leaving her. Lyra stepped closer, her expression darkening. If you stay here, you're putting her in danger. Do you think the Council will let her live, knowing about us, knowing about you? Mia's heart raced. She hadn't thought about that. Was she really in danger just by being with Zek? She glanced up at him, her eyes filled with worry. Zek, maybe you should go. I don't want you to lose everything because of me. Zek turned to her, his eyes full of pain. I'm not leaving you, Mia. I won't let them take me. We'll find a way, together. Before Lyra could say anything more, Zeke grabbed Mia's hand and pulled her close. Hold on tight, he whispered. Mia didn't know what was happening, but she trusted him. She held on to him as tightly as she could, and in an instant, Zek's body began to glow with a soft blue light. The air around them buzzed with energy, and suddenly they shot up into the sky, leaving Lyra and the other aliens behind. They landed on a nearby rooftop, breathless but safe for the moment. Mia's heart was pounding in her chest as she tried to catch her breath. What? What just happened? Zek looked at her, his eyes filled with worry. We don't have much time. They'll keep coming for me. But I promise you, Mia, I'll protect you. No matter what Maya looked up at him, her heart swelling with love despite the fear and confusion swirling around them. Zek, I don't care about the danger. I just want to be with you. Zek and Mia sat on the rooftop, their hearts racing from the escape. The stars twinkled above them, and for a brief moment everything felt peaceful. But they both knew it wouldn't last. Mia leaned against Zek's shoulder, her hand tightly holding his. Do you think we can really do this, she whispered. Can we outrun them forever? Zeke turned to her, his eyes filled with determination but also sadness. I don't know, Mia, but I do know I won't let anyone hurt you, not even my people. He gently cupped her face, his thumb brushing her cheek. I'd give up everything for you, Mia's heart swelled. The love she felt for Zek was overwhelming, like nothing she had ever known. I don't want you to lose everything because of me, Zek. You have a life back on your planet, a family. I can't ask you to give that up. Zek shook his head, his gaze never leaving hers. You don't have to ask. I choose you, Mia, every time. I've never felt this way before about anyone. You're my world now, Mia's eyes welled with tears. She had spent so much of her life feeling alone, feeling like no one really saw her. But Zek saw her. He understood her in a way no one else ever had. Before she could say anything, Zek leaned in and kissed her. It was a slow, soft kiss, filled with all the love he couldn't put into words. Mia's arms wrapped around his neck as she kissed him back, her heart beating wildly. The world around them seemed to fade away, leaving only the two of them, lost in the magic of the moment. But as they pulled apart, reality came crashing back in. We can't stay here forever, Zek said softly, brushing a tear from her cheek. They'll keep coming for us. Mia nodded, her heart heavy. What are we going to do, Zek? took a deep breath. There's something I haven't told you. I have a power, one I've never used before. It could protect us, but it's dangerous. Mia frowned. What kind of power, Zek? hesitated, clearly torn. It's a shield. I can create a force around us that no one can break through, but it comes with a price. The more I use it, the more I use it, the more I lose a part of myself. If I use it too much, I might not be the same Zek anymore. Mia's heart sank. And I love you too much to let anything happen to you. We'll find another way. I promise just then, a familiar voice echoed from the shadows. You won't have to fight alone, Mia, and Zek turned to see Lyra stepping out from the darkness, her face unreadable. Mia tensed, but Zek held her hand tighter. Lyra Zek asked, his voice filled with confusion. What are you doing here? Lyra sighed, crossing her arms. I can't stop the others from coming after you, Zek, but I can help you get away, at least for a while. You deserve a chance to be happy. Mia didn't trust her, not after everything that had happened. 
Why would you help us? Lyra's gaze softened. Because I know what it's like to love someone you're not supposed to. I lost that chance. I don't want Zek to lose his. Mia glanced at Zek, then back at Lyra. Maybe she wasn't their enemy after all. Zek hesitated but then nodded. All right, what's your plan? Lyra smiled faintly. We'll have to be smart. The Council will send stronger forces soon. But I can create a distraction, give you two time to escape. You'll have to disappear, Zek. No more using your powers. No more contact with anyone from our world. Mia's heart ached at the thought. Disappear? Where would we go? Zek looked down at her, his eyes filled with love. Anywhere, as long as we're together. Lyra nodded. I'll give you as much time as I can, but you'll need to leave tonight. Mia's chest tightened. It was happening so fast, but deep down she knew this was their only chance. Okay, Mia said softly, squeezing Zek's hand. Let's do it, Zeke leaned down, kissing her forehead. We'll make it through this, Mia. I promise as the stars twinkled above them, Zek and Mia held each other close, knowing that whatever came next, they would face it together. Zek and Mia didn't have much time. They packed up what little they had, knowing Lyra's distraction wouldn't last forever. The night felt tense, thick with the weight of what was coming. They were in this together. Lyra stood at the door, her face serious. I'll lead them away from here. You two get as far as you can. Don't stop no matter what. You hear me? Mia nodded, gripping Zek's hand tightly. We will Lyra gave a small smile. Good luck. And, Zek, take care of her. Zek's eyes softened. Thank you, Lyra. For everything with that, Lyra disappeared into the night and Zek and Mia made their escape. They ran through the dark streets, keeping to the shadows, hearts pounding. The world felt too big, too dangerous, but they had each other. Hours later, they reached the edge of town. Zek stopped, looking back at the city fading behind them. We can't ever go back, he said softly. Mia stepped closer to him, resting her head on his shoulder. I don't care about that. As long as we're together, I'm good Zeke looked down at her, his eyes full of love and something deeper, something unspoken. Mia, I have to tell you something Mia looked up at him, her brows furrowed in concern. What is it Zek hesitated, but he couldn't hide it anymore. There's a reason my people are after me, it's not just because of us, it's because of who I am. Mia blinked, confused. What do you mean Zek sighed, running a hand through his hair? I'm not just some random alien from a distant planet. I'm the heir to the throne. I was supposed to take over as leader, but I didn't want that life. I didn't want the pressure, the politics, and now they see me as a traitor. Mia stared at him, her heart racing. Wait so, you're a prince, Zek, gave a small, sad smile. Yeah, but I don't care about that. All I care about is you, Mia's mind spun. She had fallen in love with an alien prince. Her life had gone from normal to crazy in the blink of an eye, but somehow this felt right. Zek, she whispered, stepping closer. I don't care about who you were supposed to be. I love you for who you are. Zek pulled her into his arms, holding her tightly. I love you too, Mia. More than anything, just as they were about to kiss, a loud noise shattered the moment. A bright light flashed in the distance, and Zek's eyes widened. They're coming, he said, panic in his voice. We have to move. Now Mia's heart pounded as Zek grabbed her hand and they started running again but this time the fear was real. They could hear the ships in the sky, feel the rumble beneath their feet. The council wasn't giving up easily. Suddenly, Zeke stopped and turned to her. Mia, I have to use my powers. No, Zek. You said it could change you. Zek's eyes glowed with determination. I don't care anymore. I won't let them take you before Mia could protest. Zeke raised his hands, and a powerful shield formed around them. It was unlike anything Mia had ever seen, shimmering with another worldly light. The air buzzed with energy as the ships above tried to break through. But they couldn't. Zek's body shook with the effort, but he didn't let go. He pushed harder, forcing the ships away, sending them spiralling into the distance. Finally, the sky went quiet. Zek collapsed to his knees, breathing heavily, his face pale. Mia rushed to his side, her heart in her throat. Zek. Are you okay? He looked up at her, his eyes dimming. I am fine. But we need to go, before they come back. Mia helped him to his feet, her mind racing. She was terrified of what the power had done to him, but she couldn't lose him. Not now. They kept moving, the night stretching on endlessly. But through it all, 
Mia knew one thing for sure she and Zek were in this together. No matter how dangerous it got, no matter how many enemies chased them, their love was worth fighting for. But as they disappeared into the darkness, Mia couldn't shake the feeling that something had changed in Zeke. His eyes weren't the same, and the weight of what he had done hung heavy between them. Their love was powerful, but at what cost? Zeke and Mia had been on the run for weeks now, always moving, never staying in one place for too long. They were exhausted, constantly looking over their shoulders, but they still had each other. And that's what kept them going. One night they found shelter in an abandoned cabin deep in the woods. The air was crisp, and the stars above them twinkled like tiny diamonds. For the first time in what felt like forever, they had a moment to breathe. Mia leaned against Zek, her head resting on his chest, listening to the steady beat of his heart. You know, she whispered, I used to dream about a love like this, where nothing else mattered but us. Zek smiled, brushing a strand of hair away from her face. I never thought I could love like this. Not until I met you, his voice was soft, full of warmth and sincerity. For a moment, everything felt perfect. But deep down, Mia knew it wouldn't last. Zeke had been using his powers more and more to protect them, and each time it seemed to take something from him. His eyes had lost their glow, his energy drained quicker. She could see the struggle he was hiding. Suddenly there was a knock at the door. Both of them froze. Zek stood up, his body tense. Stay behind me, he whispered. Mia's heart raced as she watched him slowly open the door. A figure stepped inside, cloaked in shadow. It was Lyra. I found you, Lyra said, her voice cold. I'm sorry, Zeke, but they made me do it. Mia's stomach dropped. What do you mean, she asked, her voice shaky. Lyra looked at Zek with sadness in her eyes. The council gave me no choice. If I didn't bring you back, they'd kill us both. Zek stepped forward, his face hard. I knew it would come to this. Mia's heart pounded. Zek, no, there has to be another way. Lyra shook her head. There's no way out, Mia. The council's after Zek because of who he is and they won't stop until he's either back under their control, or dead. Mia felt a wave of panic rise inside her. She couldn't lose Zek. Not like this. But Zek's face softened as he looked at her. Mia, there's one last thing I can do, one way to end this to keep you safe. Mia shook her head, tears filling her eyes. No, you're not sacrificing yourself for me. We'll find another way Zek reached out, cupping her face in his hands. I've never felt more alive than I have with you, Mia, but if it means keeping you safe, I'd do anything, even if it means giving up everything. Before Mia could say anything, Zeke closed his eyes and a soft glow began to surround him. She could feel the air shifting, and suddenly she knew what he was about to do. No, Zeke, Mia cried, grabbing his arm. Don't do this, Zek opened his eyes, his gaze full of love. I'm sorry, Mia, this is the only way. I'll transfer my powers and once they're gone, the council will stop hunting me, but I'll be human. And I won't remember you. Mia's heart shattered. No, no, you can't. I don't care about the powers, I just want you. I can't lose you. Zik Zek's voice was soft. You won't lose me. Not really. We'll find our way back to each other, somehow. Mia couldn't stop the tears streaming down her face. Zek, please, he kissed her gently, his lips warm against hers, and for a moment the world disappeared. It was just them, wrapped in the kind of love that felt eternal. When he pulled away, the glow around him grew brighter. Mia could feel him slipping away. I love you, Mia Zek whispered, his voice barely audible. I always will, and then, in an instant, the light vanished. Zek stood there, blinking, confused. He looked at Mia, but there was no recognition in his eyes. Who? Who are you? he asked softly. Mia's heart broke. She wanted to scream to cry, but instead she forced a smile. Just, someone who cares, Lyra stepped forward, her face full of guilt. He's free now, Mia. He's safe. But Mia wasn't listening. All she could do was stare at Zek, the boy she loved, who had given everything for her. Zek turned and walked out of the cabin, disappearing into the night. Mia stood there, her chest aching. The love of her life had saved her, but now he was gone. But even as the tears fell, she knew one thing their love had been real, and no amount of lost memories could ever take that away. And maybe, just maybe, they would find each other again.